Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the four step problem catch the winner. Yeah, so in this game, we have two players, Alice and Bob, and that plays this game. And they start with an integer n and takes the turns. Okay, with Alice going first on their turn, a player must check select an odd prime factor of t and subtract it from n. Okay right so n changes to n minus p the player who cannot make a move losses if either one n equal to zero or n has no odd prime factors right so if both plays optimally who will win the game that is the question so like this is a good question we need to see so how let's see some example okay so in the first case we have two okay so suddenly this has not any odd prime factors and alice is the first mover so this will lose so winner will be bob in this case okay so let's suppose we have another case n equal to 5 so in this case what will happen <clears throat> in the first case alice is the mover so n is a already a prime prime number and the prime factor is 5 so if he reduces like this will be t so if he reduces 5 minus 5 that will become 0 now 10 is of bob and it is zero so bob can't make any move hence loses the game alice will win but certainly i know this has not clear your concept so we will see some more examples for better understanding yeah so we have let's suppose n equal to 10 So if we have n equal to 10, then what we need to do? Alice is the first mover. So the we need to calculate the prime factors. So prime factors will be 2 and 5. And odd prime factor is 5. So Alice has no other choices to choose this. Right? If he chooses this number, so then it becomes n equal to 10 minus 5 that will be 5 and now bob has again moved so if bob plays with this that means it will remove this one so it is equal to 0 now now alice has don't have any move so alice will lose bob will win and what happens if n equal to 1 n equal to 1 n equal to 2 these are the conditions where Alice can't win because it has not any prime factors. Okay. So, Bob will win this case. And the main point is here. Uh, if we see few more examples. So, let's suppose. Um, let's suppose n equal to 9. That will be a good case, I guess. We have lot of options in it. So, n equal to 9. So if we have n equal to 9, that means Alice is the first mover and we have 3 and 3 prime factors. So it he can choose this. So answer will be like n will be 6. 9 minus 3, that will be 6. Now Bob will choose. This one is Alice. Now Bob. Bob comes into the picture and it has 2 and 3. So if we again remove this, so n will be 3 now. Now Alice again get the chance and it has n equal to uh, factor equal to 3 prime factor. Okay, so it will remove and n becomes 0 here and Bob can't win from here because he can't make a move. So the case is like 
whenever whenever the n this n this n is even if this n is even that means bob can win if n is odd else else is the winner but the critical case is when n equals to 1 if n equals to 1 bob will be the winner that is the critical case so you need to see two condition either n equal to 1 or n is even then bob otherwise else that is the solution for this question hope you understand the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding